All right, so we are working on, we're still going on the plat assembly, the tool rest, all that good stuff. So what I'm doing, I'm working on the tool rest right now. I have our platen assembly. Now this, we're going to get some kind of a tool steel face for this. I have to order one for right now. We'll use it as is, but chances are after a very limited amount of grinding, this is going to get out of shape and out of whack and we'll have to remake it. Not a big deal. I'm just going to run what I can while I uh, run what I can with what I have at the moment. Now I was contemplating doing an adjustable tool rest for this. I got looking at it. And this has all the adjustment I need. I mean, as far as I know, we'll find out as we go. It's not like we can't make something later on if needs be. So with this guy, this is another 4x12 piece of 3.8 steel. I want this good and solid. I kind of want it half-ass centered on here. Not as big a deal to me. So the piece of square tubing below... I put that in there so we could use a tool rest there rather than having one attached to the platen assembly arm. So what we're going to do is we're going to notch this out. We're probably going to step it in probably a good three quarters, half or three quarters of an inch so we can get this tool rest past the belt and everything so we have a little bit of room on both sides that are it's in a little bit. Now in order for me to do that, this platen plate here on the back side, I'm going to have to cut that out a little bit to give us a little a little room for what I need to do. So anyway, we're going to get on that. We're going to keep going. We're going to see what develops. So I had an idea that I have not seen on any of these builds yet. We're going to see how it goes. I don't know why I painted that part of this thing, because I'm just going to have to sand it and do a bunch of repainting on it, touch up. So what I haven't seen anybody do is make a foot pedal 
for the belt tensioning for the uh, for the tracking wheel. So we're going to rig one up because I think that would be a lot easier to leave both your hands free to be able to um, leave both hands free to put the belts on if you had a foot pedal. So let's see how that goes. So if you're doing this, if you're following these plans exactly, you measure in 10 inches and then two inches in, that should get you centered in that uh, in that post. Let's see how she goes. I'm going to drill a half inch hole so we have a little slop in there. I'm going to get some more Windex. I'm telling you nothing works better. There we go. That's better. All right, folks, we are in a really good spot right now on this build. We have our base done. We got a, so what we did is I used a piece of eight inch steel pipe for the base. It's overkill, it's way overkill, but uh, I wanna see if I can get away with this being freestanding. That's why I splayed the legs out. And most of our pressure, I'm assuming, there again, is going to be on the front when we're grinding. Now, worst case scenario, what I will do, not worst case, I can always bolt that to the floor just like we did the leg by stand if it becomes an issue. Uh, I'm curious to see how much vibration we're actually going to get or if we can tune this thing in to run exactly how we want it. So we did some uh, revamping of the platen plate. Um, the whole assembly here. I notched out the back side. You guys can see that uh, in the video so I can get all the way around the platen itself when I'm grinding. That way I don't have anything in the way. The tool, the tool rest, I decided to do it separate rather than have it bolted onto the arm that the platen assembly's on. That way I can uh, maybe use it for the two inch contact or the uh, 
we'll end up getting a 10 inch contact wheel at some point for this thing so I want to be able to uh, I basically want as much versatility on this as I possibly can but um, so anyway that's what we have so far all the wheels are lined up we've done all that we've done our due diligence there I did end up per viewer suggestion I welded the half inch bolts on the back side here just so I could get these a little bit looser so they turn a little bit freer um, so other than that I mean it's pretty self-explanatory that the hole that the threaded rod goes down that we're going to hook a foot pedal to I think I'm going to hog that out bigger not so big where the spring comes through or anything like that but I'll hog it out bigger so it doesn't catch on the hole itself that's what was going on here I thought maybe I monkeying something up welding it so of course I ground it down some but I think once we get going and we have pressure from the belt, I really don't think that's going to be an issue. If it is, I'll make I'll find some kind of a shim or I'll just grind those off and uh, put new shim stock on it. So, anyway, all we have left on this, I need to order a couple of belts and I need to get a hold of a motor. The frequency drive should be here, I think, Tuesday, what the tracking says with the goofy FedEx. So we'll see how that goes. But um, I'm... I am super happy where we are with this. The, uh, and I also brought the tool rest so it comes around the platen because nothing I hate worse than when I'm grinding is having something, a blade or something, get sucked down in between the plate because you didn't have any support on either side. And everything I have here, that's how it is, and that's a real pain in my ass. So anyway, long one, guys, but this was a big progress video, which we got to have those once in a while. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, you're new here, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, we, <laughs> we do just about anything here, I guess. But uh, anyway, have a good night, everybody, and I'll catch you on the next one.